Have you ever had the urge to stick a wacky interval in the middle of a chord and then name it after a country that it has nothing to do with? Then augmented sixth chords are for you. What are they? An augmented sixth chord is a chord that contains the interval of an augmented sixth, usually between the bass and an upper voice. The interval of an augmented sixth sounds the same as a minor seventh, but it is written as a sixth. Augmented six chords normally fill the subdominant role. It moves away from the tonic and towards the dominant and creates motion in the chord progression. The augmented six intervals formed between the raised scale degree four and the lowered scale degree six, and it almost always expands outward to an octave. This gives it its unique sound because both notes in the augmented sixth act as leading tones that move towards the dominant. There are three types that are commonly used, the Italian, the French, and the German. Most of the time they all serve the same function, they just all go about it in slightly different ways. The first is the Italian sixth. Out of the three types, the Italian is the only three note chord. The three scale degrees it contains is the root, the sharp four, and the flat six, or lay, do, fi, if you prefer the solfege. So in the key of C to find the Italian sixth, we take the root, which is C, the fourth, which is F, and the sixth, which is A. We raise the fourth and lower the sixth a half step, and we get C, F sharp, A flat. The lowered sixth then gets put into the bass and this creates the augmented sixth interval. This then moves towards the dominant of the key and eventually resolves back to the tonic. The Italian sixth makes an appearance in Beethoven's fifth symphony in measure 20 of the first movement. We begin this section in C minor and we move back and forth from the tonic to the dominant. In measure 19, we arrive on our last C minor bar and then we move to an Italian sixth, A flat, F sharp, C, and then we move to a dominant chord half cadence, G major. The A flats both resolve down to the G and the F sharps resolve upwards to the G. There is an octave displacement because the violins are playing their open G string to make those chords happen, but the concept still applies. The next is the French sixth. The French sixth is a four note chord. It contains the same scale degrees as the Italian sixth with an added second scale degree. In C major, lower the sixth, keep the root and the second, and raise the four, and you'll get A flat, C, D, F sharp. Stick the A flat in the bass and you are good to go. A great example of the French augmented sixth also comes from Beethoven, this time from the third movement of his Patetique Sonata. This movement is in E flat major. We begin on the dominant, move to an inverted tonic, and then move to a 4-6. We then move to a French augmented sixth, and then to a 5 chord. Notice the chromatic motion in both the bass and soprano line. This sliding action in both voices heavily draws the ear to the dominant. The third type is the German. The German augmented six has the same notes as the Italian six with an added flat three. It does not contain the second degree that the French six does. So in C major, A flat, C, E flat, F sharp. An example of the German augmented six can be found in the Rossini William Tell Overture. <laughs> Here we are in the key of E major. We start with a one chord, and then we move to a C sharp major chord, which is a chromatic median, and then we're hit with the German augmented six. This chord then resolves to a one six four chord. A one six four chord has scale degree five in the bass and has dominant function. And sometimes augmented six chords will resolve to this chord before heading to the five chord to avoid parallel fifths. The German augmented six also has some unique properties that can be taken advantage of. The German six is actually enharmonically equivalent to a dominant seventh chord. It sounds the same, but it looks differently. In C major is A flat C, E flat F sharp. And if that F sharp is respelled to G flat, we get A flat C, E flat G flat, which is just an A flat seven chord. This means that we can use it as a secondary dominant to go somewhere else. In the key of C, the German augmented six could be used in the traditional sense, or it could be used to modulate to D flat major, the flat two of the key. And even more interesting, I think, is that since a dominant seventh chord sounds the same as a German augmented sixth, any dominant seventh chord in any key can act as a German augmented sixth in a different key. So for example, we're in the key of F and we move to the dominant seventh in that key, C7, C, E, G, B flat. This can then be respelled as C, E, G, A sharp, which would be the German augmented sixth in the key of E major. So the C and A sharp form the augmented sixth and both will expand outward to B, and then we'll follow the typical resolution process.
So with the German Augmented 6, we can modulate up or down a half step depending on how we use it. Truly the Chad of all Augmented 6 chords. Thanks for watching. If you learned something or found this interesting, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Also, if you like what I do here on this channel, consider checking out my Patreon. Link is in the description.